Hello viewers, uh, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 1998 Ford E350 with a 7.3. I'm actually uh, standing under that van right now. And uh, the customer complaint on this van is that transmission fluid has been leaking out. So he brought it here so we can fix it. And guess what I found guys? Uh, transmission fluid has been leaking from the transmission output shaft seal so this is gonna be an easy repair I'm gonna show you where the leak is and then we're gonna replace this uh, transmission output shaft seal so let's look at the leak and confirm the customers complaint alright so here is a transmission and here is our leak I hope you guys can see this this transmission output shaft seal is leaking so that's why it is losing transmission fluid so all the fluid is coming out from here so this is going to be a quick fix uh, we're gonna remove and replace this uh, transmission output shaft seal okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the drive shaft okay and uh, to remove the drive shaft we're gonna have to remove these four bolts right here. There's one, two, three, and then a fourth one up there. Once I remove all these bolts, then our drive shaft is gonna come out. But before I remove these bolts, I'm gonna have to mark it because these drive shafts, some of them are balanced. So if you don't put it the same exact way it came out, the drive line might vibrate because when they install this at factory they balance this drive shaft so make sure you put it back the same exact way you found it okay so let's mark it first and then take all these bolts out Alright, so that's marked. Alright, the drive shaft is marked, so now let's remove it. So I got the drive shaft out, so now I'm just going to sit it right here. Alright, so we got the drive shaft out of the way, now let's see what we got. Alright, so now that we got the drive shaft out, uh, this is what we got. As you guys can tell, it's this bottom here is completely wet. Uh, this output shaft seal is pretty easy to replace. I'm going to have to use a chisel to tap this old one out. And as you do this, you want to be careful not to damage the uh, extension housing. You just want to tap between the seal and, and the extension housing itself. So I'm going on the side, gently.
already here comes the old seal now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wipe this surface down wipe this down let me show you guys what it looks like there and that's our output shaft so now let's get the new seal ready and install it all right so here is the new output shaft seal now I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the uh, outer edge of the seal right there so I'm gonna use this pipe this exhaust pipe to install the new seal just use a hammer tap it in just tap the new seal on and there you go this is how you install and there you go that's how you install a extension housing seal back on so let me show you guys how it looks now And there is our seal installed. So now the next step is putting the drive shaft back on. guys so uh, I guess that's it you saw how we removed and replaced the uh, extension housing seal so this is really easy to do it's such a basic uh, repair anyone can do it so I hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumb down but if you do you gotta tell me why so thanks for watching guys see you next time